Chapter 1. The Basics of Camping One sunny day, Mark and his friends, Sarah and Jack, decided to go camping for the first time. Mark's dad, Mr. Thompson, was an experienced camper. He taught them about the camping essentials they would need a tent, sleeping bags, flashlights, a map, and food. Mark's dad showed them how to set up their tent. They carefully unfolded it and secured the poles. Mark spread out the sleeping bags inside the tent, making sure they were cozy and comfortable. Now we'll have a good night's sleep, Sarah said excitedly. Next, they each received a flashlight. Mark's dad explained the importance of having a flashlight when it gets dark outside. You can use it to find your way around the campsite at night, he said. Jack eagerly turned on his flashlight and waved it around. I'm a superhero, he shouted with a big grin. Afterwards, Mr. Thompson handed them a map. He showed them how to read the map and find important landmarks like rivers, mountains, and trails. If we get lost, we can use this map to find our way back, he explained. Mark carefully studied the map, pointing out different symbols and markings. I'll be the navigator, he proudly declared. With all their camping essentials ready, it was time to pack their food. Mr. Thompson showed them how to pack food that was easy to carry and wouldn't spoil. They packed sandwiches, apples, granola bars, and lots of water. It's important to stay hydrated, Mr. Thompson reminded them. Sarah had her mouth watering already, imagining the delicious food they would eat around the campfire. The sun was starting to set and the camping trip was about to begin. Mark, Sarah, Jack, and Mr. Thompson loaded their camping gear into the car and drove to their campsite. As they arrived, they noticed the beautiful tall trees surrounding them and the sound of birds chirping in the distance. With the tent set up, sleeping bags ready, and flashlights in hand, they sat around the campfire, roasting marshmallows to make esmores. The crackling of the fire and the sweet smell of marshmallows filled the air. They enjoyed talking and laughing under a starry sky. As the night grew darker, Mr. Thompson pointed at the Big Dipper constellation in the sky. See those seven stars forming a shape like a saucepan? He asked. Mark, Sarah, and Jack looked up, amazed at the sparkling stars. Wow, they exclaimed in unison. With their bellies full and their hearts happy, it was time to go to bed. They climbed into their cozy sleeping bags and listened to the gentle sounds of nature outside. Good night, everyone, Mr. Thompson whispered. They all fell fast asleep, dreaming of new adventures they would have the next day. Mark, Sarah, and Jack's first camping trip was a success. They learned how to set up a tent, use a flashlight, read a map, and pack food. Most importantly, they discovered the joy of being in nature and spending time together. They couldn't wait for their next camping adventure, already planning to explore new places and make more wonderful memories. Question, what are some essential items to bring when camping? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Choosing the Perfect Campsite Choosing the perfect campsite is an important task when going on a camping trip. You want to make sure that the location is just right, the terrain is suitable, and the facilities meet your needs. Safety and the natural surroundings are also significant factors to consider. When selecting a campsite, the first thing to think about is the location. You want to find a spot that is easily accessible, and not too far from where you plan to explore. It is best to choose a campsite that is close to a source of water, such as a lake or a river, for all your hydration needs. Next, consider the terrain of the campsite. It's helpful to find a level piece of ground to set up your tent. You don't want to be sliding down a hill during the night. Also, check if there are any potential hazards nearby such as fallen trees or rocky cliffs. Ensuring a flat surface and a safe environment will contribute to a comfortable camping experience. 
Facilities at the campsite are another essential aspect to consider. Some campsites provide running water, toilets, and even electricity. If you prefer a more primitive camping experience, you might look for a site without these facilities. However, if you're camping with kids or prefer more convenience, having access to these amenities can make your stay more enjoyable. Safety is paramount when choosing a campsite. Check for any signs of wild animals, such as bear tracks or droppings. It's better to avoid areas that may have bear activity, as it could pose a risk to your safety. Additionally, ensure that your campsite is not in a flood-prone area, as heavy rains can cause dangerous situations. The natural surroundings of the campsite are what adds beauty and charm to your outdoor adventure. Consider whether you'd like to be surrounded by tall trees, lush greenery, or picturesque mountains. Each location offers its own unique experience and aesthetic appeal. If you love bird watching or stargazing, you might want to choose a campsite with an open sky. After considering all these factors, it's time to pick the perfect campsite for your adventure. Let's say you found a serene lake nestled among mountains. The terrain is level, making it easy to pitch your tent. The campsite also provides running water and toilets, which is ideal for your family camping trip. You notice there are no signs of wildlife activity nearby, ensuring everyone's safety. As you look around, you can't help but admire the breathtaking views of the mountains and the calming sound of the water gently lapping at the shore. It seems like you found the ultimate campsite. In conclusion, choosing a campsite involves contemplating various aspects such as location, terrain, facilities, safety, and natural surroundings. By taking all these factors into account, you can ensure a pleasant and enjoyable camping experience. So, grab your tent and head out to find the perfect spot for your adventure in the great outdoors. Question, what factors should be considered while selecting a campsite? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Setting Up Camp Like a Pro As the sun began to set, Sarah, and her family arrived at the campsite for their weekend adventure. Excitement filled the air as they quickly got to work setting up their campsite like seasoned pros. First, they searched for a flat surface to pitch their tent. Sarah's dad found a spot nestled between two tall trees. It was the perfect place as it provided shade during the hot daytime and protection from the chilly wind at night. After making sure the ground was clear of any rocks or sticks, they laid out a tarp to protect the tent's base. With the flat surface ready, Sarah and her brother eagerly unfolded the tent. Their dad guided them through each step, making sure they understood how to properly assemble it. Once the tent was up, they stretched the guy lines tight and secured them to stakes driven into the ground. Sarah's mom even suggested attaching colorful flags to the tent, so it would be easy to spot in a sea of other campers. Next, it was time to organize their belongings. Sarah's family had a system that worked like magic. They unpacked their bags and sorted everything neatly into different sections. Clothes went in one corner, cooking utensils in another, and sleeping bags were arranged close to the entrance of the tent. This way, they could easily find what they needed and minimize disruptions inside the tent. After setting up their sleeping area, Sarah's family focused on securing the campsite. They knew that keeping everything safe was important, especially when venturing into the wild. They tied food up in a tree using a rope and carefully stored away scented items that could attract curious wildlife. Sarah's dad also showed them how to properly extinguish a campfire, making sure not to leave any embers behind. With their campsite set up like pros, it was finally time to relax and enjoy the great outdoors. Sarah and her family gathered around the campfire, roasting marshmallows and sharing stories. The crackling flames danced in the dark, providing warmth and a cozy atmosphere. 
It was a night filled with laughter and wonder as they gazed at the stars shining brightly above. As bedtime approached, Sarah's family followed their nighttime routine. They brushed their teeth using a small portable sink and then changed into comfy pajamas. Sarah's dad read them a bedtime story inside the tent, and soon after, they all drifted off to dreamland. The next morning, Sarah woke up to the sound of birds chirping. The sun was already high in the sky, signaling a new day of adventure. She unzipped the tent and stepped outside, taking in the fresh morning air. The campsite still looked neat and organized, ready for another day of fun in the wilderness. With a smile on her face and a sense of accomplishment, Sarah knew that her family had truly mastered the art of setting up camp like pros. They had created a safe and comfortable space in the great outdoors, allowing them to fully enjoy the wonders of nature. They were ready for anything the wilderness had in store for them on this exciting camping trip. Question, how can you efficiently set up your campsite? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Outdoor Activities to Enjoy When you re-outside, there are so many outdoor activities to enjoy. You can go hiking, fishing, bird-watching, stargazing, and even have a campfire to cook your food. Let's start with hiking. Hiking is like walking in nature, but it is more exciting because you can explore different trails and see beautiful sights. You can hike up a hill or walk through a forest. Along the way, you might see squirrels jumping from tree to tree or hear birds chirping. It is important to wear comfy shoes and bring water with you so you stay hydrated. Fishing is another fun outdoor activity. You can catch fish with a fishing rod and reel. Find a calm lake or river where the fish like to swim. Some people use worms as bait to attract the fish. When you feel a tug on your fishing line, it means you've caught something. Remember to release the fish back into the water if it is too small or not what you want to eat. Bird watching is perfect for nature lovers. Grab a pair of binoculars and find a quiet spot where you want to scare the birds away. Look up at the sky and see if you can spot different bird species. Some birds have colorful feathers while others have beautiful songs. With patience, you might even see a bird building a nest or feeding its babies. Stargazing is an activity for when the sun goes down. Look up at the sky and you ll see stars shining like tiny lights in the darkness. Find a spot away from city lights so it is easier to see the stars. The more stars you see, the brighter and more magical it feels. If you re lucky, you might even see a shooting star streak across the sky. Make a wish when you see one. Now, what is better than cooking over a warm campfire? Campfire cooking is a special way to enjoy food outdoors. You can roast marshmallows on a stick until they turn golden brown and gooey. Or you can cook hot dogs on a grill over the campfire. The smell of fire and food cooking together is heavenly. Just be careful around the fire and make sure to put it out before leaving. So, whether you re hiking, fishing, bird watching, stargazing, or enjoying campfire cooking, there are so many outdoor activities to make your time outside fun and memorable. Don T. Forget to take care of nature while you re out there and always have a great time exploring the great outdoors. Question. What are some fun activities you can do while camping? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5. Staying Safe in the Wilderness Staying safe in the wilderness when you go camping, it's important to know all about camping safety. This means being prepared for anything that might happen. Let's learn about some important things to keep in mind when you're out in the wilderness. First, you should always follow campground rules. These rules are there to keep everyone safe and happy. One important rule is to never leave a fire unattended. Always make sure to put out your campfire completely before leaving your campsite. This will prevent any accidental fires from starting. Another important rule is to be aware of wildlife. 
while it can be exciting to see animals in their natural habitat, it's important to respect their space. Never approach or feed them, as this can be dangerous for both you and the animals. Always keep your campsite clean and store your food properly to avoid attracting any unwanted guests. Being prepared with basic first aid knowledge is also crucial when camping. You never know when a small accident might happen, so it's important to know how to handle them. For example, if you get a minor cut or scrape, you should clean it with soap and water and cover it with a bandage. If someone gets a bee sting, carefully remove the stinger and apply a cold compress to reduce swelling. One morning, while a group of friends named Lily, Alex, and Ben were camping in the wilderness, they decided to go on a hike. Before they set off, they made sure to pack some essential items for their safety. They brought a first aid kit, a map of the area, and plenty of water and snacks to keep them energized. As they walked along the trail, they spotted a deer grazing nearby. Remembering what they had learned about wildlife awareness, they watched from a safe distance and admired the beauty of nature. They knew that it was important to enjoy wildlife from afar and not disturb their natural behaviors. Suddenly, Lily slipped on a mossy rock and hurt her knee. She quickly stopped and sat down, feeling a bit scared and in pain. Alex, who had paid attention during their camping safety lessons, remembered the first aid kit they had brought. He opened it and found bandages and antiseptic wipes. Alex carefully cleaned the scrape on Lily's knee with one of the wipes and then gently placed a bandage over it. Lily felt relieved and grateful to have such prepared and caring friends. They continued their hike, making sure to stay alert and watch their steps. After a wonderful day of exploring, the friends returned to their campsite. They knew the importance of leaving no trace. They cleaned up their area, disposing of any litter in the appropriate bins. They also properly put out their campfire, ensuring it was completely extinguished. As they settled down for the evening, they all felt a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. They had followed campground rules, stayed aware of wildlife, and knew how to handle basic first aid situations. They felt confident in their ability to stay safe in the wilderness. Remember, camping safety is all about being prepared and taking care of yourself and the environment. By following the rules, being wildlife aware, and knowing how to handle basic first aid, you can have an amazing and safe camping experience. So, next time you head into the wilderness, remember these important tips and enjoy your adventure. Question, how can you ensure your safety while camping? Check the video description.